It's your girl Gladys, aka Is That Your Hair, and welcome back to my channel. So today is gonna be a little bit different. Today, we're gonna be dyeing some hair. This is my first time dyeing hair ever. I'm really excited about it. I've dyed my own hair before, but never a wig or bundles. So let's get into it. So today, we're going to be dyeing Sensational's newest unit, Chrissy. And of course, as you probably figure, I got her in the 613 color. Look how blonde she is. Woo, woo. This hairline definitely looks really, really nice, just like the others from the Wet Lace Collection. The lace doesn't look as great to me on this unit. Hmm. I cannot wait to start this coloring process. So today, we're gonna dye Chrissy pink. I'm using the Ritz Fabric Dye in the color Super pink. When you're dyeing synthetic hair, after doing a lot of research on it, it seems like if you're gonna do, use the RIT dye, you have to use a synthetic fab fiber dye. It has to say synthetic. If it says all purpose, that's not the one to get. It has to say synthetic, if you're going for a more vibrant look. I pray this works. All right, you guys, here is what you need. You need the wig, of course. You need the fabric dye, and here's a better close-up of the dye. You need the spoon or just something to like twirl the hair in. The hot water, of course, and you see it's steaming. And you need something to dry the wig off on when you are all done. Me, I just have my mannequin. Yeah, there's more water boiling behind this. So here I'm just pouring the dye in and stirring it up. I use the whole bottle, basically. I try to use just half, but... Uh, I kind of felt like I needed to use the whole thing. Um, I'm pressing the water inside the container with the spoon, and I'm just just making sure it's saturated, basically. Also, please make sure that you wear gloves when you do this, because I did not put my gloves on, and this dye was on my hands for like three days. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes now, and I'm just checking to see how it's taking and this is what the color is looking like just wet it looks like it's definitely taking the color so maybe this is gonna be a win we'll see all right y'all so now i just put this dry on the stove this thing i try to wash it after 10 minutes the color came right off i don't know what the hell is going on but maybe i need to reboil the water so here we go. So I stepped away for 10 minutes, and as you can see, this thing had too much water in it. Oh my freaking goodness, this is just a freaking mess. So the second time around, the color is stuck, and I'm just washing it out to make sure no color is left. <laughs> okay, y'all, so whew, that was interesting. I have it on the wig head now. It looks crazy. Some people um, wash their wig in fabric softener afterwards. I did not do that. Um, we're just gonna let it dry just like this and see what happens. It's all about trial and error, but I'm really liking this color. It, it, the color definitely took to this. So I'm excited for the final look. So I'll be back with this bad boy tomorrow morning. All right. Come on. All right, you guys. So it's been a week and I am back with the final results of dying Chrissy. Look at this color, you guys. Look at this. Oh my God. Y'all cannot tell me this hair doesn't look the fuck bomb. This color came out pretty much exactly the way I wanted it to come out. So y'all did see 
some of the things I went through when it came to dyeing this hair. There's a few things I learned off the bat. One, I already knew this, but you definitely have to make sure the, the temperature is out of boil constantly. I know at one point I had let my water sit a little bit for like maybe two minutes. I should not have done that because that definitely affected my hair coloring right away. That's why I had to put it into the pot. Another thing, don't put too much water in the pot because it will overflow. You know, like just basic stuff that you already know, but you, I guess, kind of forget. I did because I was just so freaking excited. But I am in love with the results of Chrissy. So I just want to give you a quick review of this wig. So Chrissy comes with your standard cap construction. You have combs at the side here and a comb in the back with adjustable straps. So let's talk about the pros. Chrissy is a nice shortcut, perfect for spring, perfect for warmer months. But this hairline is what makes Chrissy, Chrissy, l l let me let me get a little closer. I purposely did not do baby hairs because I want you to see the full effect of the hairline. Look at that. I, I didn't pluck anything. Nothing. Not a hairline was plucked. Ugh. I think it looks awesome. I absolutely love the way this came out. Hairline looks good. The color looks bomb. The cut is cute. So here's one thing, Chrissy did not come this short. She came a little bit longer, but I thought the style was a little weird on me in that length. Like it wasn't even, I don't know, they're going for this asymmetrical bob, which is cool, but I wanted it to be a little bit more even. So I just took my scissors and snipped at the ends. I probably cut maybe about an inch and a half or two inches off on each side, as well as kind of cut an angle here. And that's how I got it this short. I want to show you guys the back, but I'm a little embarrassed because it looks crazy, but I'll show you a little bit of the back. And I promise I will fix it, you guys. Don't judge me. Now, this hair color is not going to be for everybody, but it's definitely for me. Let me tell y'all something. I have never worn color just straight up like this without a dark root. Never, ever, ever. It's something I've always kind of steered away from because I felt like it would just look weird on my skin tone. But let me tell you, this shit is popping. Like, this is legit. I look like the juiciest piece of Laffy Taffy. I look like a neon pink lemonade. I'm loving it. It's giving me festival vibes, summer vibes, chilling at brunch on the patio vibes. Oh, this is everything. Who's still sleeping on me? I just want to know. Who is it? Who's still sleeping on me? Sensational. Did you see what I did to this wig? Okay. You should be in my inbox. <laughs> Stop messing around with these companies, man. Like, I cannot. But yeah, I absolutely love this. I can go on and on and on about how much I love this wig. I really wanna know what you all think about this hair, though. So definitely leave comments down below about what you thought of my process and what you think about this end result. I am in love with it. I can't wait to rock it this weekend when I go out of town. And I hope that you guys love it, too. So by the time this video goes up, next week because today is thursday the 25th hopefully by the time this goes up i'll be at a thousand subscribers <laughs> i'm so excited i think we're gonna make it there this weekend we shall see i'm like 20 away it's so exciting so so exciting i have so many fun things coming for you guys with this spring season so i thank you all for rocking with me if you haven't already you should subscribe, you should comment, because I love when y'all talk to me, like my videos, just show me love, follow me on Instagram, is that your hair? You can DM me if you have questions about anything, if anything wasn't clear in this video, comment on the video, hit up my DMs, I'm accessible, and I'm available to speak to you, because this is for all of you. So, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.